na mlitarifa yake Robert Wanyo nyinyi mwanahabari wetu wa mkoa wa Magharibi. Tukirudi hapa jijini Nairobi katika masuala ya kisiasa, muungano wa kodi umeshtumu vikali serikali ya Jubilee kwa kile ambacho wametaja kwa kueneza ufisadi nchini. Wakitubia umma katika mtaa wa Kibera hapa jijini Nairobi, wanakodi wamedai hatua ya rais kuidhinisha malipo ya shilingi bilioni 1.4 za kandarasi za Anglo Leasing ni njama ya kujikusanyia fedha za kampeni ya mwaka 2017. Pia wamedai kuwa hatua ya rais kuongezea nguvu makamishna wa kaunti ni njama ya kusambaratisha ugatuzi. Because the truth of the matter is this. What is Uhuru Kenyatta telling us? He's telling us that he doesn't want to pay Anglo leasing. He knows it is wrong. But because the Attorney General has told him that the court has decided, even if it is a kangaroo court, he is going to pay. And is the employer. The first thing he would have done is to sack the Attorney General and told him, I don't agree with you, I'm not going to pay. Wameleta mambo ya Anglo leasing. Jamaa sema can't pay, won't pay, sijui nini pay. Sahi amekuwa rais, asema you have to understand me. Ku understand me. Kila kitu chao, there is something sinister about it. Where you look at the appointments to public service, it is tribal. They are institutionalizing what we call an ethnostate. Ni mambo ya provincial administration. I would like the president to understand me. Kwamba katiba katika kipengele namba miambili stina mbili. Subsection 17. Kinasema kwamba afanya iyo maneno amesema. Kwamba apendue provincial administration. Haisemi atoe provincial administration. But ina emphasize kwamba in so doing he must allow participation kutoka kwa senate, kutoka kwa national assembly, kutoka kwa law reform commission kutoka kwa commission of implementation of the constitution na kutoka kwa wanainji.